I'm here because there's accusations of my daughter and my son-in-law, Michael, abusing my granddaughter. Four years ago, my daughter gave birth to my granddaughter. A month later, my daughter, Destiny, kept saying she kept hearing this pop noise, like somebody cracking their knuckles. And we went right back to the hospital. They started doing x-rays and found out her clavicle was fractured, and I don't know what this bone is called, but this part of her arm. And that's the only fracture that I could see. I just got emotional, stepped out, and when I came back, they telling me that there's more and more and more fractures. I, oh my goodness, I was in tears. I was so emotional. I'm like, who, you know, who's the baby with? You know, was anybody around? Could anybody have done this? And I couldn't come up with anything. After they confirmed the injuries, the Child Protective Services was called. They, they removed the baby, and we've been fighting this ever since. I feel as though my family is being railroaded because of my um, involvement in my past with uh, child services as well. In 2005, my kids were being racially bullied, and after six months of this abuse, I was at my breaking point when my son disclosed something very personal that I locked my kids in my van and parked in front of the school because my kids have a right to go to school and not be racially bullied by the color of their skin, and I was arrested, and my three kids were taken. So I believe with my past, it's all spiraling out of control, and we have not been able to get my grandkids. If one of them did this, there's gonna be hell to pay because that's, that's a little baby. She didn't deserve none of that. And, and if they didn't do it, then they know somebody that did do it. And that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom. Destiny, that's your mom on the tape. What do you have to say? She's telling the truth. I can't even explain. Can't even explain it. It's numb. It hurts so bad. I miss my daughter every day. And my girlfriend called the show because it's time to, it's time to get to the bottom of this. I've been dealing with this for four years. The truth needs to come out. Your daughter was taken away four years ago, right? Yes. How often do you get to see her? Once a week for two hours. It's beautiful, but it's not enough. It's, it's very emotional. Your daughter telling you, Mommy, Mommy, I want to come home. Where she's playing, and out of nowhere she says, you promise not to hurt me. I don't know what's going on with her. Every day that I see her, it's another mark, it's another bruise, and she calls herself a different name, and it's like, I just want to get to the bottom of this. What happened the, uh, the day that you found out your daughter was injured? It didn't happen on that specific day. It happened when she was born. My daughter, I had complications. This was my first child. I was 18, I was young. I might have been dumb and naive, but I wanted to be a concerned parent. I wanted to make sure that I was doing everything right. So after the complications at birth and everything, I requested them to do x-rays. At the time of giving birth to her, she had gotten stuck. Her right shoulder got stuck. I know it was painful for me, so I could only imagine what she was going through. Physically, on the outside, everybody says that she was okay, but me personally, as a mother, and as that intuition, mother intuition, I wanted to know that on the inside, was she physically okay? And they denied me x-rays. They sent us home. Before we got sent home, I noticed, I was breastfeeding at the time, and I noticed a cracking, popping noise as if you're gonna crack your knuckles. I heard that in her arm. I asked the nurse to come in and help me, you know, breastfeed and everything, and she heard the popping noise, and I still continue to ask for help. Like, can you x-ray her arm, knowing the fact that she was stuck at birth, and knowing the fact that it's, it's not sounding right, and I personally believe something is wrong. I got denied. They sent me home. A month later, I wake up to my child spitting up blood. That had to be the most scariest night or morning of my life. Do you believe that all these injuries were caused uh, during the birth? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, when exactly you look at sure. that picture there, what do you feel? 
hurt, disgusted. The fact that I'm the mother and... Do you think that somebody might have intentionally caused these injuries? I don't know. That's why I'm here. How long have you and Michael been together? Ten years. That's my high school sweetheart. He ever exhibit behavior that you think he might have done this? Never. He was very humble, laid back, always funny. He was a funny guy. I want to know, like... No, I want to know. You no, got to know something. Know. I don't know You was babe. there. I wasn't there. I wasn't babe, in the room. I'm, I'm keeping to tell you straight from the honesty from my heart. You already know this is my baby girl and this is my world. And you already know y'all two is the reason. Is the reason why I do everything I that I do to this being. For everything. I know that's this my too. baby girl. Okay. My DNA that's what happened my the day the your uh, daughter got I'm injured, innocent. Michael? Well, let's just start where I woke up in the morning. We started our day. Um, I gave the baby, changed the baby. I fed her. Started to go do some spring cleaning. Mom went into the kitchen, started cleaning. Grandmom left and went to go to school. I decided to go downstairs with the baby and relax with the baby downstairs. Change the scenery, get her out of the room. She's sleeping down inside of her jumper that's laying on the couch, and I'm sitting right next to her. She's sleeping very peacefully. She wakes up two hours later, she starts fussing and crying. I'm assuming, okay, me being the father, okay, she's either hungry or it's either time to change her. So the father's is wishing, I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm not going to disturb mom. Mom, you do what you got to do. So I went and I changed my baby girl, and once I changed her, she still was fussy. So I said, okay, something's still not right. Is she hungry? Is she hot? It was this hot summer day, and one of the air conditioners didn't work. So I'm like, is she hot, maybe? Is she could be in some type of discomfort? Or whatever the case may be. So I went to try to feed her. She didn't want to eat. So I'm like, okay, something's not right. So when she went to reach for me, she went to go reach, and her arm was like, it slowly came up, and like her other arm was just already out and extending reaching for me. So I'm like, something's not right. So I went and I did the strength test. So I stuck my finger in her hand and I told her to squeeze. And I said, baby girl, what's wrong? How old is she at this time? She's only two months. But she's able to, like, far as how, I said, how do you tell a two-month-old to squeeze? I don't, it's, it's really hard, hard to explain. It's like when you really got that bond, it's like when you talk to your child, or it's like, I don't know how you can really explain it, but it's like your child will do certain things and certain gestures and make certain type of movements to try to tell certain signs or tell tell things. Mm. And normally she's always used to being picked up all the time. So she always reaches for someone to pick her up when she's done. So when she went to go reach, I noticed something wasn't right. So I looked at her arm and I did the strength test. She squeezed my finger with her arm and it was, she had a lot of grip, it was strength. I'm like, okay, I had to do the test on the other arm. Same exact test. She went to grab my arm and she went to go squeeze. But did you think there enough. was something wrong before this day? No. What the the did, did you hear? I was in my room and I heard an awful, like high pitched scream and I ran down the hallway, and Michael had the baby, and the baby, you know, sued down. What did you, you know, say, what down. did you do? And I said, what, what happened? And he said, that's when she fell off the bed, and he was, you know, consoling her. And she quieted down. But that high-pitched scream, you, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a cry, you gotta change the baby diaper, or, you know, a bottle feeding. It, it was a high wailing, right. like, now, your granddaughter's been taken away for four years. Yep. And you believe that it has to do with you, with your van incident yep. at the school? Yep. Uh, 2005, um, I locked my kids in my van to protect them because of a um, racial issue at, he, um, at a school. And I reached out to the racial conflict line, the Office of Civil Rights, the bully hotline. And because of that incident, your kids got taken away. Yes. I All right, Shannon, you took a lie detector test. Mm hmm And we asked you, do you know for sure who abused your granddaughter? You answered no. Did you cause any of your granddaughter's injuries by abusing her or using force? You answered no. Did you? ever shake your granddaughter? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that you told the truth. That's when you took a lie detector test. Like, that's my world. And we asked you, do you know for sure who abused your daughter? You answered no. Did you cause any of your daughter's injuries by abusing her or using force? You answered no. Did you ever shake your daughter? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test, all the results came back the same, and they came back that you told the truth. <laughs> Michael came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked him, 
Do you know for sure who abused your daughter? He answered, no. He did not tell the truth. That's a damn oh, lie. God. That is a damn Wait, lie. Like, I swear on my what? life. Like, I did swear you, a damn did lie. Did you? Like, babe, what? I swear to God what? on my life. Baby, that is a what? lie. I swear to God on my life. I didn't do anything. Like, I swear. Did you cause... I swear. Did you cause any of your daughter's injuries? My world, I didn't do did anything. Did you? Did you cause any of my your daughter's baby. injuries by abusing her or using force? My baby. You answered no. You did not tell the truth. <laughs> did you ever shake your daughter? Did you ever shake? Did you ever shake? Uh, the answer no. Uh, and the result is extreme deception indicated. No, no. So that's evidence there. But what's even more evidence? You and your mother took the same test he took. You and your mother passed. Why you did it, baby? He's standing right there. Ask me anything. Ask him where. I got one. Question I for you. Swear. What happened when you blacked out? I do anything. I knew it. I didn't do anything. Something baby. I told me. Something told me. I swear, me. I swear told me. on my How? life, I didn't do anything. How? What's anything. That? What I don't is know this? what this is. What is this? I don't know. What I told you this? I will take it over again. I promise you, I didn't do my anything. Daughter. I didn't my do daughter. My daughter. Steve. Steve. Anything. Steve. This is why I came to your show. I'm a big fan of yours. I've always I... watched your show. I came to this show because I wanted to clear my name. But I also wanted to make sure that my family wasn't betraying me neither. Sure. Steve, this right here broke, broke just breaks my heart even more. But listen, what you need to do is you need to go home and say, I pick my kids over this guy. That's definitely, okay. definitely. And you need to say, you're going to get yours by the legal system. When I go home, I'm telling the police I want you locked up. Oh. How many more times is it going to require you to pass? How many more times? How many times does it take, Steve? I will do it to prove it to you. To prove it to you because I know how my heart is. I know how much I love my kids and how much they meant to me. All you do to prove yourself, they meant to me. Go home. Go turn yourself into the police and go stand trial and see if you can prove yourself an innocent man. Fine. And with that, I beat my case. Get up. Yes, sir. And get my stage. We'll get you everything that you need. Okay. And I sincerely, I sincerely hope that you get your kids back. Me good luck to you. Thank you, Steve. He hurt my baby. He hurt his daughter. I can't have my baby around him. Everybody told me, Mom. Everybody told me. Everybody, all my friends, all my family, everybody told me that Michael did it. I just didn't want to believe it because I love them and I care for them and I don't think he would do that, but he did it. I'm just broken right now. My, my heart ain't even in a million pieces. My heart, my heart is crushed. Now what? Do I get my babies? Do I get them home? Now what? I cleared my name. I didn't do this. I was proven innocent. Can I have my babies? Can I have my babies now? We finally got our answers. Finally. I know it hurts. The men, the men that you love them, believe them, who do this. Mama, I love you. Can I finally be free? Yeah. <laughs> Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilcos.com to get my help.